Oh, sky water. Oh, now I'll never get to sleep. Don't worry, Trisha. It's okay. Big tree star keep us all dry. Oh. Hey, tree. Oh. Oops. Me sorry. Look, Spike. The sky water makes the ground water dance. <laughs> wow, Ruby, there sure is a lot of sky water coming down. That's sky water, Chomper. It just keeps coming down until it doesn't. Well, at least the secret caverns keep us safe from Red Claw. Which is good, since I promised your mom and dad I'd keep us safe from Red Claw. Yeah, and tonight they're keeping us dry, too. Huh? Look! The stone teeth are dripping. Let's see. Oh dear, now your tail is dripping. Ah! I gotta make it stop! Wait, Chomper! <laughs> get to sleep. All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Burning bright with a newborn Come sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow all the way home. To the land. a long time last night. It did, it did. Well, me might like sky water if it's not so wet. Well, Petrie, the bright circle is out now, so it'll dry everything up. Right, Sarah? It better, little foot. My tree stars are soggy. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey! Those tree stars are not yours to eat, dome heads. No, no, no. It did. Thank you for the thank you, Ducky. <laughs> <laughs> Having tree stars to share is always good. Yep, yep, yep. Hello, my friends, my friends, hello. Hi, Hi Ruby. Ruby. <sighs> Hi. Hey, Chomper, what's wrong? Not much, I guess. I just need to find a new cave to live in. Hmm. There is always something wrong with Chomper's cave. Yup, yup, yup. Not always. Ruby and me are really happy our families let us stay in the secret caverns. Mm-hmm. Especially with Red Claw and his fast biters scaring everyone in the mysterious beyond. Okay, so what's wrong with your cave this time? It's leaky. It's a cave. How bad can it be? Come on, I'll show you. The water started coming in during the big sky water last night. I could not sleep with the dripping sound either. No, no, no. It was worse last night. Yes. Though there might have been less water if Chomper hadn't made those holes. Ugh. Yeah, so I 
thought we could go exploring and look for a new cave. Explore the, the secret caverns? I don't know, Chomper. It'll be fun, an adventure. I want to go adventuring, adventuring, adventuring. I want to go adventuring and find a brand new cave. Will there be things with glowing eyes that use the dark as a disguise? And try catch Petrie by surprise. I don't think Both big and small, see funny rocks or a waterfall. There's more to see. Come on with me. So if you go adventuring, adventuring, there's just one thing you know that you are going to. We go back now. I think we should try this way. <laughs> okay, but the air is fresher this way. I think we should go the way we can see best. <laughs> hey, Spike, nice job. Yeah, yeah great. Right. <laughs> Going the way we can see will let us see the way we're going. Sarah? I suppose. Okay, then let's go this way. Ruby, you said what I said, but biggerer, and everyone listened. If I could talk big, everyone would listen to me too. That would be good. <laughs> as long as the big isn't so big that you scare everyone. Like Red Claw? Yeah, like Red Claw. Too bumpy. This cave smells funny. <laughs> oh. Don't give up yet. I'm sure we can find a good cave. Good cave? <laughs> I don't think there is such a thing. Hey guys, you have to see this. This is what we have to see. I think we can all fit. Follow me. What is this place? It's a cave of many voices. Listen! Hello! 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 Wow, a talkback! A big talkback! Hauga! Hauga! Oh no! What was that? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was some roar, Ducky! Yeah, even I'm impressed! Oh, I sound big now. Yes, yes, yes. If I can talk big in here, Ruby, can you show me how to talk big in the Great Valley? You just think I talk big because I'm bigger than you. But if you were bigger than you, you'd talk bigger too. Hmm? But then, it wouldn't be big to you. Then, can you try to help me talk big, please? I guess I can try. <laughs> Me, great flyer! 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 Woohoo!
<laughs> you know, all the shouting is making me thirsty. And hungry, too. Don't look at me. <laughs> Chomper, out in Great Valley, me saw a nest full of stinkily buzzing things you might like. Gee, that sounds great. Then let's go. Those stinky, buzzy things were spicy, but good. Uh, not sure me want to hear details, but you're welcome. So who's ready to go explore the cavern some more? Uh, uh, uh. We're still eating, Chomper. You flat teeth sure take a long time to eat. Say, Chomper, why don't you go on ahead and we'll catch up with you? Great idea, Littlefoot! Uh, where Ruby and Ducky? <sighs> Ducky, I've thought about it and here's what I think. To talk big, you need to feel big inside. So if you can think big, you can talk big too. I can think of big things, like that tree. It is big. Good. Now be the tree. <gasps> I cannot be a tree. No, no, no. But you can pretend to be as big as the tree, right? Oh, pretend. I am a tree. Okay. Now that you're feeling big, let's talk big. Like this. Fill your body big with air. <gasps> And you let it go from there. Open wide so you can say that you're feeling big today. I'm talking big. One more try. Stand up straight, now don't be shy. Your big voice will make you proud. Let it sing out loud. I am talking big. Now you're talking big. Big, like a big, big tree. Really, really big. Big like Soros Rock. Big like the biggest Ooh. big. Ducky? May I have some tree stars? Oh, yeah, sure. Here. Hey, are you trying to talk differently, Ducky? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, yes, yes. I, I mean, yes, Sarah. Since I feel big now, I am going to talk big, too. Well, it might be more convincing if you were a little taller. She'll be taller one day. Guys! Guys! Guess what? I found a new cave to live in. Come on, you gotta see it! Uh, gee, Chomper. It's pretty nice. Yeah, for a cave. Don't you just love it? And best of all, no stone teeth! <laughs> 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 someone else is in the secret caverns. Well, there's only one way to find out who it is. That whole spike made 
it seems a lot bigger. That's the mysterious beyond out there. Oh no, it's Red Claw. Fast spiders. Let's go. We don't want them to see us up here. We cannot let those sharp teeth stay in here. No, no, no. Don't talk big now, ducky. Oh, Sarah! while you guys get help. Hold him off? Like an appetizer? Ugh. Listen, we gotta stick together. If only the Cave of Many Voices could make our bodies as big as it makes our voices. Ducky, that's it. Remember how your big talkback scared Petrie? Oh, me remember that. If we lead Red Claw and his fast spiders toward the Cave of Many Voices, we can go inside and make it sound like there are more of us. And bigger of us. Uh, we roar like we big and angry? No problem. Not problem for you. Sharp tooth? 
Tell Red Claw to leave because a big and angry herd is on its way. Okay. <laughs> So brave, Ducky. Yeah, we never make it into cave without you sneaking in first. <laughs> Sometimes being little is better than talking big. But I know I will always be big in here. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> 